on this, on this back off this one briefly. This belonged to, um, as you can see from Don Al Hughes, the thing that amazes me about this is he, that was his uniform in 1861. The picture of him is in 1922 wearing this uniform. The guy's in good shape. I, mean, I don't think many of us could be wearing our uniforms anymore. Um, but what's fun about this is if you look at this painting, this too was by someone in the, um, in the 9th New York, Harlan uh, Luther Harlan Lent. Lent, Harlan Luther Lent. And he, he, this is the only painting of Hatteras during the Civil War. And what I love about it is most canvases of this size show an action scene, okay? Some sort of combat. This shows a Hatteras sunset, okay? <laughs> but you can see in the back, there's Fort Hatteras and the fleet, there's Portsmouth Island, uh, Ocracoke Island, and then Fort Clark's over here. And here's the camp of the 9th New York Zoo Ops, and there it is again in a, in a, a Harper's Weekly illustration. But look carefully at the zoo of uniform in this painting and this one. And you'll see one difference, and that's the color of the sash. The sash here is blue. The sash here is red. They received that red sash after Antietam. Is that correct? Actually, Battle of Roanoke Island. Battle of Roanoke, Battle of Roanoke Island. They received it after the Battle of Roanoke Island. And that's when they went to the red sash. 